Hey YouTube, Ryan Pax here, and I'm going to do a review of City Strike Snake Eyes. I know this figure is pretty well sought after right now in the G.I. Joe community, and I was lucky enough to pick one up uh, the other night at my local Walmart. And just a quick little thing on the back of the package, um, now the, the like, uh, clip out card, the ID card, is on the right side instead of the left side, and down here it has a little thing about uh, the pursuit of Cobra, basically, and a little picture of Hawk. And the front of this is also has this uh, in gray now instead of the, I believe it was just an old black. So if you're looking and you just want a quick look, make sure you check the, the front of the package look at the the bottom bar that wraps around it should be gray in color alright so on to the review uh, snake eyes here comes with some pretty sweet accessories this is the backpack that came with the arctic snake eyes from the rise of cobra line um, that has the two grappling hooks on the end that go up and down that sort of thing nothing special about it I don't think it's, it's cool but it's you know, it's weird. Uh, it comes with this pretty nice little rifle. Comes with a smaller little machine gun. He comes with two of these little, uh, like, crampon things for his feet. He comes with a pistol and a combat knife. And, of course, he comes with his sword and sheath, which is on his belt. It pegs into the back of his belt. The sheath, if I can get it back off. Oh well, well it pegs in right there. Um, the backpack goes right there. Very small backpack, but it works. And as far as articulation goes, it's pretty standard for the Joes. Uh, the new stuff that's come out. But just to uh, sought after figure so much because he's the uh, Resolute Snake Eyes sculpt that was not released in the Resolute figure line as the movie came out they basically cancelled that to do the Rise of Cobra and now the Pursuit of Cobra give you a close up on his face pretty nice face for Snake Eyes um, I think that as far as the Rise of Cobra line goes, the Paris Pursuit Snake Eyes is probably my favorite head sculpt. The body is sort of reminiscent of the the um, Wave 1 Rise of Cobra Snake Eyes, where he's really muscular and you can see everything really well. Um, the legs are... I think they're actually the exact same as Resolute Dukes. Boots are different, but I think the legs are the same. Comes with the little stand like all the other Joes. This figure kind of has a problem pegging in there. And then, just for a real quick comparison, the Target Exclusive uh, Rescue Mission Pack comes with an all-black version of this Snake Eyes, except for the head is the Paris Pursuit Snake Eyes head. Uh, um, comes with the same weapons, the same, except for the large rifle. I don't believe he comes with the larger rifle. He comes with the smaller machine gun still. And he comes with the little uh, boot crampon things, but they're a glossy black, whereas the City Strikes are a uh, matte finish, if they have any finish on them whatsoever. But he, then he also comes with the uh, little pistol too. But these are very nice figures. Uh, if you're lucky enough to find one, definitely pick it up. Do not pass this by. Walmart right now has um, G.I. Joe's basic figures like these on sale for $5 a piece. And you just that's just a great deal. You can't pass that up. $5 for one of these. That's like back when we were kids and they were 4 bucks a piece or 3 bucks a piece. Anyway, great toy. If you see them, Grab them for sure. Thanks for watching.